Okay, now let's get into this next story. Alec Baldwin fatally shot cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injured film director Joel Souza when a prop gun discharged on the set of his new film, Rust, in New Mexico. Now, Hutchins was airlifted to University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque and died from her injuries. Souza is being treated at a nearby medical center in Santa Fe. Now, sources told TMZ that either shrapnel or a bullet struck Hutchins and Souza. What are your thoughts on this tragedy? And if you remember, a similar thing happened to Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee, in the set of the film The Crow in 1993. And I'm hearing that Alec is absolutely just distraught and feels awful about this. I don't see how this, I, I, it's amazing that this even happens. You know, I, 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 I don't know who's more of a victim here. The person that lost their life in their family or Alec Baldwin. All of us know from being in production and film and movies, you show up to work, they give you your wig, they give you your costume, they give you your clothes, they give you your set, and they give you your prop. It's not my job as the actor to make sure that this isn't a real doggone gun or, 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 or up to safety protocols. There is a whole department for that, like a whole department. And I just think that this is, is, is a freak accident. It is unfortunate. Um, this movie is probably not going to make it to the end of, 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 the, of its journey. And there are definitely some heads that are about to roll. Al, what do you think about this? Baby, this story is juicier than anything we saw happen this week. Now, all right, now I'm going to give it all to you now. Now, the union um, has been uh, protesting. In fact, they walked out on this film just hours before this incident happened. And the members of the union are the assistant, the production assistant, the photo assistant, the, uh, the prop assistant. All those people have been very upset since the beginning of the taping of this because they said They've been working long hours. They have to work 12 to 14 hours. Then they have to drive an hour to find somewhere to sleep. All against their contract. The wages were low. The food wasn't there. They were disgruntled to the end. Now, this came to a head the day of the shooting, only for us to find a real bullet in a prop gun that killed the cinema photographer. This is better than any CIS uh, uh, SUV. I'm, I'm doing all the wrong verbiage. Like Y'all know I don't know. But this is is a good story right here. And what's unfortunate, though, is that it's going to land on the back of Alex Baldwin because, you know, he's the most seasoned person. He's the one that shot. But something in the T tells me that, that 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 bullet was put in there on purpose, that they had complained about the safety issues because three days prior, the gun went off six times and no one um, addressed it. And this is just I feel like someone's way of making them accountable for taking advantage of those union workers. That's so That's that horrible. play I did a couple of weeks ago, I had to get killed. I had a shot and there was a, a gun that had a blank in it. Right. And it mm -hmm. always makes me nervous. Like what if someone messes up? What if someone leaves something behind? So in the, in the play, when, when, when uh, Bernadette Sanders shot me, a piece of the, something, a projectile from the, the gun hit me in the face and it burnt my face. Right. And it shocked the hell out of me. This is a, a, a small budget play. The fact that you have these guns, that is something that you cannot make that mistake. And I don't, I don't know if it's been proven that it's a bullet or was it shrap? I don't know what it was, right? Do we not know what it was yet? Is well, they said that it was a projectile, but this projectile, they line, it was a bullet because the bullet went through her heart and then went and struck and went through another person's um, sweats but between his spleen and his collarbone or somewhere right here. So I can't think that that is just a regular projectile. That, yeah. you know, and and, and Al, what, what university you went to that taught you the spleen was up here? <laughs> right, because it's really not. <laughs> Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? I'll be trying to slide them in there. But he thinks right. oh, he goes, "Hang on, Google it," and, and, so and they be like. They be in the comments. I'll be coming with the facts. He be trying, trying to say sound. anything. Listen, y'all be like, so yeah, damn yeah. sophisticated. Y'all are hating because y'all hating because y'all didn't read the story. Okay, it was it, whatever had happened. It was in the spleen. Now the spleen might not be up here, but wherever the spleen is, that bullet hit that man in the spleen. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know what? It, it's funny, Claudia, because I would think that in 2021, that uh, the bullet dust, the bullet sound. And the impact of the bullet would all be things that were handled in post-production. CGI. We don't need to have a real. Yeah, we don't bullet. need to have guns shooting blanks. And hopefully, this will bring about 
some type of change and reform. Because Al, what I'm hearing is instead of checking that gun, the prop person was too busy striking and had they been on right. their dog on oh, job. Absolutely. That's right. Because three the days, day. three days earlier, the prop gun went off and it discharged again. Like, you know, so it was an ongoing thing and and, and they couldn't follow any safety protocols because they didn't have anyone to work to, to report to. So they've been sloppy across the board. It's just unfortunately that a family is devastated and a life was taken. I, I hope they get it together because we cannot afford to have anybody get shot up here in the liver or, or up here in the kidneys. <laughs> you know, and we, we just can't. So we're going to take a break.